So let's face it, as an American consumer, you're probably subscribed to death at this point. If you're just like me, you've got movie services you're signed up for, you've got wholesale buyers clubs you're subscribed to, you probably got a car wash subscription too. So when I heard about the Panera Unlimited Sip Club, I thought to myself, do I really need a coffee subscription? Well, maybe. I don't know. I'm a real heavy coffee drinker and I thought this might be a way to save some money. So today on Coffee Computers and More, we're going to talk about the Panera Unlimited Sip Club. It's something that Panera has been advertising heavily lately online and also in their cafes. We'll talk about the pros and cons of the Sip Club and what my thoughts are after 30 days of being a Sip Club member. So today on Coffee Computers and More, let's get started. Okay, so what exactly is a Panera? If you're not familiar, it's essentially a cafe that features coffee drinks and fruit drinks and baked items and soups and sandwiches, etc. Well, one of those things that Panera does feature is coffee. And for $11.99 a month with the first month free, you can go to Panera every two hours and you get your choice of charged lemonades, which are basically a caffeinated lemonade, iced and hot coffee, iced and hot tea, and fountain beverages. Now, it might not seem like such a big deal, but if you're somebody who drinks multiple cups every day and you have a tendency to go to cafes like Starbucks or even Panera, it's something that can definitely save you some money. So I got an email from Panera after 30 days saying, congratulations, you've saved over $100 on 30 visits to Panera. I go there every morning before I go to work to get my coffee, and sometimes I stop after work too. There's a couple days that I haven't gone. Uh, but, you know, one of the cons with this uh, Panera Sip Club is if you don't go, you're basically going to be wasting your money, and you'd have to go at least you know, four times per month in order to at least break even on the plan. Now, like I said before, they give you the first month early and you also get some free Tumblr if you sign up for it. So right now my reaction to it is I really do enjoy it um, at, you know, anywhere between $2.69 to $4 a cup every time you go to Panera to get a beverage, that really starts to add up quick and it doesn't take long to at least break even on the 12 bucks per month that you're going to be spending. So when you get that first month free after that, they'll start billing you, you have to sign up for it and you just get a subscription charge like everything else. Now, there's something you do need to know about it. Um, you are supposed to only be using one account per person, so they do ask you to type in your phone number. When you sign in at the kiosk, you choose your sip club, you choose your beverage, you check out, and there's no charge. So if your kid's using your number or your other family member's using the number, you know, it's one of those situations where you could get in trouble for it, but I haven't heard anything about it yet, but it is essentially supposed to be just one subscription per person. Now, some of the other cons about it that you might want to watch out for, aside from not simply going, because if Panera is really far out of your way, it might not be worth it to go do this club. So when it actually comes to Panera's coffee, you might not like their coffee. You've only got the option of a dark roast, a light roast, a hazelnut, a decaf, and essentially hot water. So if you don't like the coffee, then that might be one of those things that, uh, you know, might make it lose the appeal for you. Uh, if you do like their coffee, you know, you do have the option of the hot and the cold teas, which are really good. Uh, the sodas and pops, whatever you want to call them, you've got those fountain beverages, you have access to them too. It doesn't include any of their specialty drinks like their mochas and whips and espressos and stuff like that, but you wouldn't expect them to. But uh, one of those things that I've really uh, taken a liking to is the Charged Lemonade, which is a highly caffeinated lemonade that they make. There's like four or five different varieties that you can get, or three or four varieties you can get when you go into the cafe. Lots of caffeine in it, very, very delicious, but very tasty. So I'm going to start being charged for the uh, SIP Club here in January because I signed up uh, around Black Friday and they had a, a special deal where it's free to the first part of the year. So am I going to keep it? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. Um, unfortunately, it does kind of pull me away from the local mom and pop coffee shops that I like to go to, but I still hit those places when I'm out and about because there's not always a Panera nearby. And that's the, other, that's the other thing too, if you don't have a Panera near you, uh, you know, if it's out of town or whatever, it's one of those things where you could be wasting your money. So the other thing I don't want to forget to mention is that they also have a rewards club. So the more times you go in there, the more times they're going to start stacking up rewards for you, like a buck off a sandwich or $2 off a soup or a dollar off a pastry. But something I notice is when I go in there to get my coffee and I hit checkout, they give you a little 30 second warning that says, would you like a dollar off a of pastry? Well, chances are I've already placed the order from home because I want to grab my food and go to work. So just a little pro tip for you. If you go in there and get your coffee, don't be surprised if they offer you that little pastry coupon every time you check out. So maybe just wait, order the pastry in house. They'll get it to you in like two or three minutes and you can save a buck every time. So something also consider. But there is just one more thing you need to know. Panera has reported that 30% uh, of their customers that have the SIP Club do purchase another item when they go into the store or they purchase an item online, a breakfast item. And that's one of those things that might be costing me maybe a little more money because those breakfast sandwiches are delicious. I love their bagels and those little uh, muffins. Oh my gosh, they're just way too tasty. So I am spending some money when I go there, but in the end I do feel like I'm saving some money and it's convenient to just go grab a cup of coffee when I need one. It's right next to where I work, which is a great thing. So I'm going to keep using the Panera Sip Club. So again, check it out. If you go to Panera.com, again, I'm not sponsored by them, but all the details are right there. Uh, the checkout is quick and easy when you get your cup of coffee. It's very convenient. It's cool because you can try all the different things that they have and not really spend your money, so to speak. 
because after you've gone a couple times, you've already broken even anyway. So uh, again, I'm going to keep using it, and who knows how they're going to raise the rates. We're going to see if they keep doing it, um, because they have reported there's been some theft issues where people are just using family members' numbers to sign in and get their drinks. So we'll see if the SIP Club continues, but Panera's making a ton of money off of it, so there you have it. So anyway, this is Travis. Thanks for watching Coffee, Computers, and More as we talk about the Panera um, Ultimate Unlimited SIP Club. I think you guys are going to like it. Uh, have fun, be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.